The chronic respiratory disease is a bacterial disease in poultry caused by a bacteria called a Mycoplasma galiseptican. This disease affects chickens by causing respiratory problems, therefore making it one of the diseases that cause the most significant economic losses in layer and broiler chicken. This disease leads to decreased egg production and also meat from broilers that are affected or infected with the chronic respiratory disease is usually condemned. To make it worse, the chronic respiratory disease can be transmitted through eggs into the chicks. But worry no more because I got you guys. In today's video, I'm going to discuss with you on how to identify if your broilers or rares are sick with the chronic respiratory disease and most importantly, I'm going to tell you how to prevent and eliminate this disease from your chickens. I am also going to give you organic plant treats to give to your chickens to help prevent and fight off the chronic respiratory diseases in your broilers and layers. It takes a lot of time, energy and money to compile or get this information for you guys. Therefore, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to this channel. Also, make sure that you hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, hit the like button and if you have any suggestion or suggestion, uh, you can uh, consider leaving a comment in the comments section below. The first thing that you're going to discuss is how how are you going to know if your chickens have the chronic respiratory disease? One thing you should know is that the chronic respiratory disease signs and symptoms may be similar to other clinical signs from other diseases. That being said, here are the most common symptoms of the chronic respiratory disease in chickens. Number one is that you are going to notice your chickens have a wheezing sound when breathing. Uh, this is a sound uh, that is commonly associated with uh, breathing problems in the chickens. Number two, you are going to notice a watery or foam-like substance that is coming out from the eyes and the nose of your chickens. Uh, number three, you are going to notice that the chickens will have swollen eyes. They wi there will be also a weight loss and stunted growth. A stunted growth meaning that your layers and broilers will grow very slowly. And also, you are going to notice that your chickens will become lethargic. Uh, this means that your chickens will be distressed and depressed. You are go also going to notice a decrease in the egg laying in the layers. Also, you are going to see decreased feed intake. And finally, you are going to notice uh, that your chickens will be lame, meaning that the broilers and the layers will be kind of unable to move and now let's discuss about how to prevent and treat the chronic respiratory disease the first prevention is that is getting chicks from a reputed or trusted hatchery and this is because a chronic respiratory disease can be transmitted from chickens uh, to chicks through the eggs Th this will lead to the disease being transmitted to the chicks therefore meaning that your flock will have the chronic respiratory disease at the entire time uh, that they will be in your farm therefore leading to losses the second prevention is that uh, you must establish a good by security measures the best security measures that you are going to establish in your farm include number one is hygiene uh, you must maintain the hygiene of the feeders and the drinkers and make sure that they are cleaned regularly also you are going to make sure that the drinking water is from a clean source and have no contamination and also make sure that the feeds are not contaminated the second by security measure is that you are going to add Adopt the all in all out method. This means that, for example, for the broilers, if you buy 50 chicks if, and you rear them in the farm all the way up to six weeks, uh, when you are going to be selling them to the market, you sell them all of them. This means that no chicken will be left in the farm. Therefore, this will decrease the cases of the chronic respiratory disease because if there was a chicken that was sick in your flock, then it will be sold off and eliminated from the farm. Farm. And this will also give time uh, for disinfection of the premises where the flock was staying. The third biosecurity measure that you are going to establish is uh, removing all the bedding completely and also 
after removing the bedding you disinfect the floor and uh, the whole uh, uh, poultry house before bringing in uh, another flock into the farm the fourth by security measure is uh, you are going to avoid unauthorized people from getting into the chicken house and ensure that there is a foot bath installed at the entry of the uh, of the chicken farm this will prevent bacteria of this chronic respiratory disease from uh, outside getting into the chickens the third way of preventing the chronic respiratory disease is keeping the litter dry this will prevent the litter from becoming wet because when the litter is wet this is a good condition for the growth of the chronic respiratory disease bacteria also you should not allow dust to get into the poultry house and finally you make sure that the house of the chicken is well ventilated a proper ventilation help in uh, clean air circulation therefore preventing the chronic respiratory disease now as i had promised you the most important part of this video is giving you the plant the organic plant treats uh, that you're going to use so that you can be able to prevent and treat the chronic respiratory disease uh, the four herbs are as follows number one is the mint and number two is oregano number three is rosemary and number four is the thyme uh, these herbs can be used in powder form or as essential oils powder form is usually added into the feeds of the chickens while the essential oils are added into the drinking water of the chickens uh, we have discussed all these herbs in this channel i will therefore recommend that you click the videos that i will link in the description of this video below so that you can be able to know how to feed these herbs to your layers and broilers and the amounts and the amounts to use so as to prevent and treat the chronic respiratory disease make sure that you click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to boost egg laying by feeding banana leaf meal to your chickens